నౌ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు ఇన్వైట్ జగన్ మోహన్ రెడ్డి సార్ జగన్ మోహన్ రెడ్డి గారు వచ్చారండి yes yes i am there sir welcome sir uh, now you have the uh, we, you will have the session by land past multiple council chairperson land jagan mohan reddy also presently multiple district coordinator of uh, leadership so i would like to request him to take the session on leadership in service sir, over to you jagan mohan reddy gar so yeah thank you uh, yeah you have to give me yes sir నాగరాజు <laughs> and uh, my dear friends and uh, the topic today what we are going to discuss what we are going to know a little bit inside is the servant leadership this is one of the uh, leadership styles we have lot of leadership styles like facilitator leadership autocratic leadership then uh, servant leadership then again uh, transformational leadership team building leadership and uh, cross culture leadership democratic leadership these are the leadership that everybody know that uh, many of you know if you go to our in, uh, international site uh, all these things will come to you but here the specifically is the servant leadership when we call a servant leadership there is a lot of difference between the other kind of leadership and then this kind of leadership there is a, a vast difference between them and now first and foremost we should have a servant leader should have a desire to learn the first and foremost a servant leader should desire to learn and then servant leadership should have a desire to grow and servant leadership they has got a desire to share and then also to improve the skills this is very very basic four elements of the servant leadership you must be ready to learn things you must be ready to grow and you must be ready to share and you must be ready to improve your skills from day to day uh, this thing so these are the things basic uh, characteristics of a uh, servant leadership so i don't have to deep, uh, you all know how learning will take place how growth will come and then how this uh, sharing caring daring all these things is is there and then as far as learning is concerned i would like to say one small sentence if immaterial of your age whether you are at 20 or 80 if you stop learning you grow old is the same thing whether 20 or 80 if you start learning you stay young so this everybody it applies to everyone and the growth is a symbol for everywhere the growth is there so you have to grow and then the, after growing we must share so this is what even lions club international believes in this strongly into this uh, servant leadership we are all servant leaders and uh, we are sharing our uh, talent time talent treasure everything we are sharing it and this is one important uh, aspect for every one of us and then improvise our skills so this is what exactly i can say that how we are ready to improve our skills we were virtually meeting each other coming together and then facing each other and all now this is another skill that we all have been adopted very recently to be very frank with you i never 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 before covid i never attended any such zoom meetings and never gave my presentations so we are all ready to uh, sir we are ready to learn skills so we have to improvise what skills that are demand so here some of the basic things i would like to say the first and foremost quality a servant leader should should have is a listening this is most most important listening 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 you must listen you must be prepared to listen sit with the people to listen here i would like to quote the barack obama the day he took over the as the american president for the first term and uh, from the uh, washington dc i don't know the venue but he gave a very excellent beautiful statement he says that i am prepared to sit with you i am prepared to listen to you up to this is fine but there is another line catch point is there especially when we disagree what a beautiful sentence it is especially when we disagree i am ready to sit with you i am ready to listen to you this is what is the one of the greatest quality that every one of us should have that uh, quality of a servant leader 
and then things will go. I can talk about this uh, incident of uh, listening properly at all, but the time given to me, the little thing, so we can always uh, discuss about that. The second most important thing is that you should have an empathy. It is not the sympathy, you should have empathy. Empathy means you are fitting into the shoes. The growth of the community we have to see, and we are all we are all working all these qualities of learning, sharing, improvisation of the skills, growth, all these things will lead to the make people live better in this world. This is what exactly our philosophy to be believe in it. So the another thing is that him empathizing with the people, not only sympathizing. Here I would like to say a little boy went to a store and there he want to buy a, a puppy, small puppies. So he goes and sees that he will ask the gentleman, uh, what is the cost of these uh, puppies? And then immediately the store owner says that in the cage, these are, these are the puppies, this is going to cost you a thousand rupees. And there is another little puppy at the corner that is going to be 500 rupees. Then immediately this little boy uh, picks up that 500 rupees, that store owner will immediately will caution him. See, uh, see little boy, these puppies which are for thousand rupees are very good in activity, everything, but the 1,500 rupees sitting prettily at the corner is crippled. crippled. It has got a uh, leg is not there. It is a polio affected leg. So it cannot, uh, it has to limp. Then immediately he says that, I know, I know that. That is why you are selling it 50%. Then what is the reason you have? Do you don't have money? I have money. But I, you, you look at me, even I am also polio affected. So I want only buy that one. I don't want to buy that. Uh, puppy. So this is what is empathy, my dear friends. You empathize yourself. So this is what exactly you step into the other man's shoes. This is what is going to. They, that is what is very very much required for a servant leadership. And then uh, whatever you do, and we are going to heal the people. The servant leader has to always look into the one aspects of healing. The healing means the patients are there. We serve the people. We uh, we heal the people, those who are not having sight, we heal them where those who are hungry. So this is, of course, I don't have to say much about this uh, uh, healing aspects and then uh, we can take uh, Mother Teresa is one of the greatest uh, uh, service leadership she gave to everybody. So that is what I don't want to take much about that on that aspects. And then when it comes to the, you must have an awareness of the purpose for which you are a servant leader. Your true nature is your servant leader. So you must be aware of that purpose. You should not forget about the purpose. Here I would like to say one uh, uh, young age, uh, middle aged person, he, he want to uh, renounce all this uh, materialistic world. He go to Himalayas, he can undergo training with a, a guru. And while coming back uh, his native place, he was taking bath in a river. So when he's taking bath in a river, the Scorpio is uh, coming down the stream. And then immediately he tried to help that Scorpio. He takes that Scorpio into his hands. Then immediately what happens is the Scorpio stings that person. So out of the pain again he will throw towards his uh, upstream. Then again the uh, Scorpio is coming down. Again second time he helped, third time he helped, every time it stings. And there is another gentleman next to him. He says, are you fool? Are you fool? Why is that your every time the Scorpio is stinging and every time you are trying to help the Scorpio? He said, "My, I am aware. I have learned all these days, I have practiced, I have meditated, I have done all these things. My time, my job is to help. My job is to help, whether it is things or not, whatever it may be. My natural phenomena, my natural character is to help. The natural uh, character of the Scorpio is to sting. So it's always stings, but I'm trying to help people. That's what uh, he says. So how beautifully it was uh, said. And it is truly that we must be uh, able to uh, take up this healing and all and then awareness awareness is another thing and then another important thing is the participate you this is very very essential uh, thing that we should uh, understand is the participative if you are participative is very very important because you can't do everything we need a participative people into our fold as a servant leaders we have johnson and johnson we have uh, other uh, bill gates uh, people are coming into uh, for partnership is there. We need until unless we take participative uh, leadership, it is not. It is very difficult for us to uh, understand. And here is a very very excellent uh, uh, participative leadership is displayed by the Walt Disney. We must uh, appreciate the Walt Disney. You know, before he visualized this uh, 
Disneyland, he has traveled length and breadth of the country. He has gone to the artist. He has gone to the artist for which he he required. He went to their doorstep. He interviewed them. He has talked to them. He has promised so many things to them. Come join with me. And then uh, some of the artists has expressed that we are not uh, to the level of your expectations. Then immediately you know what Walt Disney has said. No problem. Whatever you know, it's okay. But I am going to pay for your schooling. I am going to pay for your improvement of your skills. And I will do everything. I will give you all that. I will give you some share, some partnership, some profit sharing basis. I give you. He has interviewed seven hundred artists all over the country. And then, and it is that assurance that is that participative. It is the profit sharing and uh, whatever the whatever the security that is required. Even my dear friends here, I would like to say one more thing. By the time that Disneyland was inaugurated, Walt Disney was no more. Because of his participative active, and all the people who have been came there to work, improve their skill at the cost of Walt Disney, and they have put their heart into the project, and thereby the Walt Disney is to even till today, it's a most uh, sort of the thing. So the same way, we must be participative in that kind of uh, this thing. And then another thing is that we are the facilitators. We can't do everything on our own. A servant leader has to be a facilitator. Bring money. Whoever has got the money, bring money. Whoever is needed, you pay to them. This is what we have to do. A facilitator job. We collect donations and then we give it to the poor people. We give it to hungry relief. This one, that one, or we collect from the club members. We collect from the society. We collect from the corporate social responsibility. So this is all we will do. Here I would like to say Akshay Patra is really, really doing a great facilitator job, and they have been providing food. For the millions and millions of people all over the country, and they have been supplying this food. The, all the money they don't have, all that money. It is the money coming in. The money is flowing in. The good services that they are doing it. So it is what is that is called the facilitative leadership. We must do this facilitative leadership. The money is not a problem, but it is the only problem is that one should stand honestly. One should show how we can do, and this is how we can always increase the. Uh, facilitative thing we can always do, and then another important thing I would like to say is the foresight. We all should have a foresight, uh, and definitely the Melly Jones had a foresight. He has started this program 1970, and then that's how the whole thing has uh, gone. And then here I would like to say the Einstein had a foresight to invent some kind of formula in the uh, solid mechanics and the theory of relativity. And is when you see his story, such a wonderful one. He has been uh, married, and then uh, wife is not happy. He has got a children, not taking care of anything of his family. He is totally dedicated towards that his inventions. Even sometimes the wife used to bring the child and put it in his uh, lap. But the child is crying, but he is not able to hear because it is this focus. It is this for this kind of foresight he has got it. And with three years before the wife divorced him. The wife divorced him. The wife he he pleads to the wife, please don't divorce, and I have to take care of you. After three years of his divorce, another girl marries him, and then he got a Nobel Prize. The millions of dollars he got a Nobel Prize. You know what he did? Unconditionally, he has given all that money to his first wife to take care. You have taken care of me of 13, 14 years. You have taken care. Even the, the second wife also agreed. And then wife asked, "What is that you have done?" So it, it is that is what is the force right that something do and the commitment to the society and one should build the society and even I I, I don't want to take much of your time and it is the building the community when it comes to the building community servant leader always try to build the community here I would like to say the Nelson Mandela is one such beautiful example and uh, you know how many years he was in the jail you will be shocked to know that 27 long years he was in the jail and then the Pretoria. And then the regime of this uh, British uh, regime, people who are ruling that country, has many a time knocked his cell, and he said that you don't give up your agitation for the apartheid, and we will release you. He said no problem, even if I die, I believe, and I am working for my community, the freedom of my community, and that is what is the all about the our uh, uh, building the uh, leadership, and then also working for the community is another another uh, beautiful example. We can go for the. Abraham Lincoln. He has uh, gave up his life. He was at risk when this uh, 50 states of United States has uh, 
he has brought together when the two section of people are fighting against each other there was a literally civil war in the america it is he has made this united states of america and i was wondered when the second time and when i went to this washington dc there was a memorial for the abraham lincoln then then the second time i was very keenly observing why this all and the top of that uh, memorial all the 50 states names were written there such a great uh, leader he is servant leader he is and it is his services then i asked the uh, other people to these guys there they said it is because of abraham lincoln this 50 states are united and that is why the usa is existing so my dear friends we can lot of such examples are there we should go into lot of such example we all should learn we all should grow we all should share we all should, should improve our skills in order to help the people to live better make their life better let us work in that direction and i'm sure that and uh, we all will work we all will learn our skills and it is a great opportunity for us to help the people and make this globe a better place to live in if you have any questions i can answer a little later but uh, if time permits that's all uh, my dear friends and i really thank uh, our bimaya jagni and uh, nagaraju for uh, facilitating all this facility and my other co faculty is there i am very eager to uh, look at them listen to them thank you very much thank you very much god bless every one of you thank you friends